What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, Monday evening. I'm doing real good myself. You know, apparently uh, America has adopted a mass shooting culture, you know, to the point that, you know, you're getting anybody that's willing to go out here and uh, mass shoot now. You understand? And I knew it wasn't going to be long before we start seeing brothers trying to pull this shit. I ain't lying because I hate to say it. It seems like to me that our people are so influenced, you know, a lot of times by that of the reprobate. Whatever they see them do, you understand what I'm saying? By some chance, they wind up doing the same thing. Just like when, you know, crack hit the scene. It was the same thing. First, uh, white people. They were the ones that were actually, you know, uh, doing the crack thing and everything. And then all of a sudden, uh, our people start catching on to it. And it's the same thing with uh, crystal meth, you know. I, um, I thought I would have never seen, you know, um, our people doing shit like crystal meth. But yeah, they out there doing that shit now. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, we know how that kind of thing is getting into this country. You know, crystal meth uh cocaine heroin whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying and we also know that black people are not bringing that shit in this country so who's the real you know uh drug dealers we all know that what that's all about but now it's this mass shooting thing right here you know what i'm saying now this dude right here happens to be uh well was and thanks to a a, a sister i believe it was sister i ain't for sure but just the same, thanks to what whoever woman that uh, stopped this motherfucker right here, you know, from a mass shooting, you know, his name was um, Dennis Butler, 37 years old. Check out what he did. Okay. Uh, lives were saved. Hero woman shoots gunman. Dennis Butler dead after he opens fire with AR-15 rifle at party. Okay. You cannot go anywhere now. You understand? I mean, it, I mean, you better be on your P's and Q's wherever you go because you got evil always lurking in the midst. You see what I'm saying? Now, it goes on to say here, a hero woman stepped in and shot a man dead after he opened fire at a crowded party, uh, police say. Dennis Butler, 37, showed up to a party, excuse me, birthday party in Charleston, West Virginia, and open fire with an AR-15 style rifle, according to officials, okay? So, you know, he wasn't so, uh, <laughs> he wasn't successful at what he wanted to do. And I'm glad he wasn't, man, you know. Matter of fact, going back to the uh, Uvildez, uh school shooting, you know what I'm saying? It's just a shame that they didn't kill him before he took those children, you know what I mean? And uh, a few of those adults. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely hate the fact in the, the Buffalo shooting that got overshadowed by, you know, the Uvalde shooting. You know what I'm saying? With Topps Grocery Store. I hate that they took that bastard in alive. He should have got it too. See what I'm saying? So two out of three didn't make it this time. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I fought America for this kind of culture that is um, actually, you know, uh, um, producing now, because they condone it, they 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 condone it, and what I'm saying is they do not make examples out of a lot of these bastards that's going out here wanting to shoot up places. Okay, now it says here where Dennis Butler was illegally armed with the AR-15 style rifle. Okay, that seems to be a weapon of choice you know, with mass shooters, okay? Dennis Butler was dead on the scene when the police arrived. A woman at the event was carrying a weapon of her own, which she had a permit for. When Butler opened fire at the group of around 40 people, the woman pulled out her own gun and fired back, hitting and killing Butler, police say. Uh, she has been hailed as a hero for saving lives and will not face charges. She's just a member of the community who was carrying her weapon lawfully. Police spokesman Tony Hazlitt told the Daily Mail, Butler had an extensive criminal record, Hazlitt added. All right. Now, 
See, that's the same thing that I said about the situation with Topps Grocery Store in Buffalo, New York, with 11 people, you know, well, it was 13 people that got shot. I think 11 died, okay? Now, it's too bad that that security guard didn't have help. You know, uh, he tried, though, but that murderer, he had on, you know, body, you know, armor. You know what I'm saying? And it's just too bad somebody else couldn't, have, you know, pulled out, you know, whatever they had, if they had anything, and helped blast that motherfucker onto, a, you know, smithereens, whatever, you know, send his ass on his miserable ass way. You see what I'm saying? See, it helps not to be a sitting duck in situations like this because, you know, um, they want to keep guns out of the hands of people that may have so-called felonies but when you look at situations like this you know in situations like this now this guy claimed he was you know illegal you know illegally you know carrying a gun but and a lot of the mass shootings these people don't have criminal records you see my point see so uh yeah it helps to be armed when you out there in public because you can put a stop to something and, and that's what this lady did right here uh to continue right uh it says no one else besides butler was injured in the shooting which took place at the vista view apartment complex on the northeast side of charleston police said butler didn't know anyone at the party but was angered after he was after being asked to slow down while driving through the area but butler sub, uh, subsequently left the scene in return with an AR-15 style rifle and open fire. Butler had been arrested several times in West Virginia, but his charges kept getting dropped. Okay, well, you know they want people like Butler in our communities so they can do the shit that Butler attempted to do and failed. He died trying. You understand what I'm saying? What is that to get fucking mad about? Because somebody's asking you if you speeding through an apartment complex. You know, children are out there. You know, anybody can be out there and get hit. And you gonna fucking get mad and go get a damn AR-15 and come back and try to kill somebody. This is the fucking world we live in now. You see what I'm saying? In conclusion here, it says, In 2016, he allegedly shot another woman in Charleston who survived the incident. Police are investigating how Butler was able to obtain an AR-15 style rifle since as a convicted felon he is not legally allowed to carry a firearm you know but that's real easy that's that's no fucking mystery to that shit he buy them off the streets it's that simple you know these people they ain't like man they fell off a fucking melon, melon truck or something like they just don't they just don't have they don't use common sense about anything you know what i'm saying but yeah uh butler wasn't successful at what he tried to do and good for him good thing nobody else was killed in the matter of what butler was trying to do you know what i'm saying uh but yeah people when you're out in public watch these motherfuckers man watch them watch them keep your eye on everybody you understand what i mean do what you got to do and get the hell on out the place <laughs> make your way back to the hills because see these motherfuckers out here crazy as hell a lot of them unhappy a lot of them on drugs you understand what i'm saying and a lot of them are infested with demons you see and anything can set them off you see but yeah motherfucker try to do something if you if you can't get away you understand what i'm saying and if you got your shit well then you gotta do what you gotta do that's just what it is Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.